Star. No Star. Yeah. No okay, star. so that was the first. That was the first tip off. Yeah. And um, so then. Um, but you can see the Earth. You can see light reflected off of objects. Okay, as we look in this space, we we say this place is filled with light. We do not see any lines of light between us. Mm -hmm. We only see what is illuminated by the light, what the light reflects off of. We do not see the light itself. There, you see that laser beam? Right. No, you don't see the laser beam. You see the laser beam? No, it's because it's off. <laughs> Boy, that, right every time. That worked every time. Man. Okay, you can see where the. Okay, between between you and me. No. No, it's not there. You cannot see light. Okay, it's really important to understand this. Sometimes you can see it. Oh, that's right. You see the dust. You can you see the dust particles. Right. right. You see only what light reflects off of. So when you actually look at a source in outer space, it is not transmitted, light is not transmitted in the visible spectrum in outer space. Period. So then how would the Hubble telescope it? It will blind you, but you can't see it. They do need those damn glo gl gold reflectors. But you can look straight at the sun, not see anything, and get and you're blind. It is not visible. Well, the, the word telescope has to have some kind of lens. Or like it needs a, a, diffra a diffraction lens. Okay. What what um, what really sealed the deal for Tom Brown in his research is he found one of those um, you know coffee table you know like you know 18 by 24 you know. Uh, you know, coffee table things, you know, that cost, you know, 500 bucks. It had 400 pages in it, 5,000 photographs of the sun. It was, it was shown in every spectrum, you, you know, gamma rays and infrared, and x-rays, you name it. There were, in that book, put out by NASA as like the definitive study of the sun, there was not one single photograph in the book of the sun in the visible spectrum. None. It was taken from outer space. Taken from, Not from, taken from outer space. Right. What you see is the refraction of the sun in the upper atmosphere. That's all you see. That is not what it looks like. And the minute you get out of the atmosphere, it's gone. you got no, no reflection between you and it. You can't see it. It's so if you took a, <clears throat> if you went in outer space and took a pinhole camera with just raw photographic film on the back, something that, that no that, lens in between to diffract with, you're not going to get an image of light. You may get an image in the, in the infrared or something else. There is no. Okay. There's nothing in the visible spectrum. The visible spectrum effect of the sun is created by the upper atmosphere. Right. So the Earth, the Earth reflecting off the atmosphere. No, the radiation from the sun. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, I mean, but the thing is, what you see is you see an, a yellow orb in a blue background because the upper atmosphere actually diffracts. Right. The light into those two spectrums. Right. You don't just see orange against black. I mean, you don't just see blues. Right. You know, you always see the yellow and blue. So, if, if I understand it correctly, if I took the pinhole camera and pointed it at the sun, I will get no image. But if I pointed it at the moon or the earth, I would get an image because yep. it's reflecting off. You see the, the objects moon and the that earth. the light reflects off. But the sun, I would get no image unless I was in a different because spectrum. Because you were pointing it right at the source of light. Because you can't, because light is not visible. Right. You cannot see the light. Okay. We, we have been lied to in a, such a wholesale manner about almost 
the nature of everything. Oh yeah. That it's. You can't see. You can't see the stars or. Anything. No, those are all sources created. Th those are all sources. the stars you see are created. The vision of them is created by the upper atmosphere. So the reason the that the space shuttle they have that window and they have atmosphere inside the shuttle. That's why when they look outside. The no, they they produce they 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 created diffraction gratings in the window so you could see. Them. Because the early ones didn't. That was the other thing. Is Tom Brown called some of the old astronauts and asked them. They said no. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, you know, I, I don't care. I, I don't care if anybody believes me. I'm just a crackpot. <laughs> <laughs> that was a given. We were just, we were just. You're just amused. <laughs> <laughs> you're just <laughs> you're <laughs> No. Wow, that, that's quite amazing, <laughs> that, isn't it? We're, all, we're all, all, all off the same page, right? <laughs> really, um, that uh, series Thunderbolts of the Gods, or the Electric Universe, either one of those. I don't think I've seen that. It. Uh, it's a theory of, of the, you know, the electrical connectivity between the planets. Okay. Just from, and the guys basically think that the sun is really a magneto, you know, it's an iron core, and. Uh, this is the sun has the iron core. Magneto. There's, a, there's a website called The Surface of the Sun, and they have pictures of the sun's surface on it. That's interesting, because, see, I don't even, I don't even understand why the, the, the Earth has a magnetic field. Because they say it's from the iron core, and I believe that the Earth has a magnetic core. But its, it's, it's temperature is way above the Curie point, so it can't hold a magnetic field. So, that isn't it. Bummer, <laughs> huh? All oh, those pesky details, right? <laughs> this guy is... He has an alternate model of the sun and why it does. He, he, he uses a lot of the Chandra stuff and the x-ray stuff yes. to go through why he feels like they haven't landed the wrong way. He puts the helium layer in a spot. He puts the RO in a spot. And uh, he's done a really good job of taking some of the pictures and just showing some features on the, on the, some features on the sun. Mm -hmm. And then a year later or whatever, he comes back and the sunspot occurs in the same spot and it looks the same on the surface. You know, mountains and things like that. So he, feels, he, feels, he just feels a cast iron core. So. Or an iron core. Right? Yep. Right. Hmm. So, I've never been there. So, uh, can't say. You, did, you couldn't see it. 